Hey guys, this is Nia. Welcome back to my channel. Today I will be painting the strawberry parfait. I got the reference image from Chiho on Instagram. I will link the profile in the description box below. By the way, I'm so sorry for not uploading last week. I was stupid enough to paint for too long and hurt my lower back. I knew already I have a weak lower back since I've injured it before and yet I still forced myself to finish a painting because I was so excited about it but at least I'm happy with the final painting in the end and I'm also much better now after recovering for a week so anyway with that out of the way today I'd actually like to talk a little bit about style well art style to be exact I'm not going to tell you guys how to get a specific art style but I know I struggled a lot with style in the beginning and I thought I would share my growth on it and maybe this might resonate with some of you guys or it'll even be better if it can help someone with their growth in art. So as I've mentioned in one of my older videos, I've always loved drawing since I was little. I loved any types of arts and crafts and I didn't really do anything about it. I just scribbled and doodled a lot as a kid um, and I guess that's it until when I was in year 6 and I visited my cousin in the states and we were playing on his N64 and he introduced me to the game Zelda Ocarina of Time and I loved the creativity of that game, I loved everything about that game. Um, I like how creative the mazes and the dungeons were and the characters, I love the music, even now I still like to listen to it and I really really love the art style. After playing that game, I think that's when I started to draw a lot. I used to just copy the characters and then I started getting into anime and started drawing anime characters and making my own characters and I was also privileged enough to be put in a really good high school where we were introduced to so many different mediums in our art class. I was also surrounded by friends who were very much into anime and I was introduced to so many things and we used to draw on each other's sketchbooks and draw on our own characters or characters that we know. That's when style started bothering me and up till now I personally don't think I have a very specific style that I can identify with or I feel like it, it's constantly changing but I also found out that a lot of artists doesn't realize that they have specific styles themselves even though other people can see it clearly. So now the question is how can we build our own style? That's been a question that I've had for a long time and I've thought about it quite a bit so I did not get all these information from a book or anything it's just how I've come to understand it I find what's misleading is a lot of people look at other artists and they try to copy other artists style when in actuality style has to be your own it has to be something that you're comfortable with but in order for you to be comfortable in drawing you have to have certain fundamentals so unless you're comfortable with drawing certain subjects or comfortable with a certain medium i think that it will be quite hard to develop your own style so the key is and this is what i've finally realized and accepted is to have good basics in the fundamentals of art before you should even think about style. If you paint portraits and characters, practice anatomy. If you do still life, then practice still life. The same goes for your chosen medium. I don't think style is something that you can copy because style is made out of your own motoric memory, so even your mistakes can be part of your style or your quirk. This doesn't mean that you can't do artist studies because um, that can be very useful still if you like something specific about the artist then go study it but if you don't start painting your own thing but only copy artists work it'll be hard for you to develop the style that you're comfortable with I think a lot of artists themselves are rarely 100% happy with their own work and if you copy the exact same thing from those artists you might also be picking up on the mistakes that the artist made 
I'm sure though, even if you're copying a certain artist, there are certain things that will still make that painting or drawing yours because of your own quirks. But maybe the artists that you're copying have problems, say, with drawing the nose of the characters a little bit too big and it's something that they want to change, but you take that mistake and incorporate it into your own painting. Those are the kinds of things that I think about. So it's not necessarily a good thing to practice from artwork, but rather from life or from a reference photo. From there, you can take as much information as you can. Um, you can study the form and the structure of objects or anatomy. And what I like to do is um, when I draw, is to draw the whole form even when it's behind a certain object that way you can keep the real form and think about the object as a whole instead of just a flat shape just keep practicing the more you paint or draw the more you will see something develop that's why I actually find keeping your work on social media like Instagram is really helpful because you can upload anything you want and scroll down to see what your style was like before and if it's slowly evolving or not. Sometimes they're just small changes that you make but you can see your art changing and developing as you go. But if you only have a small body of work, it's kind of hard to see so it's better to just paint and not worry too much about something having to be a masterpiece or else you'll just end up stopping yourself from making progress and progress is also the key to creating your own personal style. Style also shouldn't stop you from exploring, in fact. It's something that you should explore yourself until you find what suits you most. It is something that you develop along the way. You shouldn't be bound by a certain style even though you want to try something new. It might be that you're evolving as an artist and that's why you feel the urge to paint or draw differently. As I mentioned before, in high school, I was introduced to so many different mediums and I found it hard to pick one because I like so many types. So keep playing with those mediums, but art fundamentals is something that you can bring across to all mediums. So think of it as um, an art medium is like a musical instrument. It's not easy to get used to a certain instrument, but to play that instrument properly, you would have to have the fundamentals of like music theory in order to understand the notes, scales, rhythm, and so on. And with that knowledge, you can bring across to any other instruments, but you also have to develop techniques for the different instruments because they require different techniques in order for you to play them properly. Um, and this goes the same with mediums. I hope that makes sense. And because those instruments, or in this case, the art mediums require different techniques, your paintings might also look different um, across other mediums. But the fundamentals, the way you draw certain shapes, can be brought across no matter what medium you use in the end. I find that once I stopped worrying about finding my own style and just painted whatever I like, that's when I start seeing similar characteristics across my paintings. Whereas before I was so worried about style, I want my painting to look a certain way before I even give it a go. And that brings stress in the beginning and I end up not painting in the end. So those kinds of things are the things that I would avoid. Sometimes this also comes out of bad habit for me and it's just my way of thinking of wanting everything to be perfect but I have to make myself think about the things that I've talked about and push myself to paint. Plus a lot of the time the final painting does not look like what I have in mind at all because what I have in mind are usually the styles of other artists and not my own. Also, as a suggestion, if you're looking to find your own art style, sticking to one subject matter also helps because if you draw food, then animals, then portraits, um, and then it'll most likely be harder to see. I'm not saying you shouldn't draw different subjects, but maybe for a month only draw animals, then the next month draw 
another subject, don't jump around and juggle around too much, then find whatever you're most interested in. Like, I still draw portraits because I want to study um, figure drawing, but I would consider my most painted subject to be food and loose botanical paintings when I'm just doodling. I used to paint different things all at once, as you can see from my older videos and on my Instagram because I was just experimenting, but only when I started to paint more food illustrations, which is the subject that I'm most interested in, is when I can see those characteristics forming. And that is what I started seeing recently. I started seeing things in common or a style reoccurring at the slightest and that was the first time I kind of feel like, hey, maybe I do have certain characteristics that's my own. Um, that's why I decided to talk about this in this video and share with you because it's probably a common subject amongst artists out there, especially when they're just starting out like myself. So that's kind of how I've come to understanding art style. I know that this is not the only way for people to develop, but this is just what I've experienced so far and you guys might have your own way of growing as an artist. So I'd love to hear your story, just leave it in the comment section and I'd love to read through them. I'm sure everyone is different and I think that it'll be a fun topic to have a discussion about. So we're almost done with this painting. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the process. The painting took me around two hours maybe with the sketch to the finished painting. Hope you guys learned something by watching me paint or talk about the subject. Feel free to leave a comment and let me know what you think about how to find your own art style or just share your story. Thanks for watching. Have a good day or night depending on where you are from and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!